For the first time tonight, we are seeing cell phone video that shows Hillsborough County deputies rescuing a woman who'd been held against her will. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. This terrifying ordeal unfolded last Friday in Dover on Wilkinson Road. News Channel 8's Nico Clemens is live for us at the Falkenberg Road Jail, where the suspect is tonight. Nico. Yeah, just a traumatizing situation for this woman. Deputies say she tried calling 911 twice. Fortunately, they got to her in time. The man who they say held her captive, he's still here in jail tonight. And his neighbors, they watched it all unfold. I cannot believe it. For a couple hours Friday. I don't know how, how will he do that. Mario Maldonado watched anxiously as deputies surrounded one of his neighbor's homes. He was inside two or three hours. Oh, cutters. Going in. Hillsborough County deputies say they got several calls that someone was holding a woman against her will inside this home. When they got here, they tried to get in contact with them both. After several minutes, <gasps> oh, he's beating the door with a sledgehammer. Cell phone video shows deputies rammed the door open. <laughs> then seconds later, a woman is seen coming outside. They say Kim Michael Torres was still inside the home. A deputy told him several times to come out, but he didn't. And by every five minutes, they, they call, come out, will you hand up? And he don't come out. That's when they sent in a canine who found Torres hiding inside a kitchen cabinet. And the dog grabbed him for the, for the leg, and the police spray a uh, paper, paper spray. Maldonado says he's known Torres for years, so he was shocked. He will grow up with my kids, he go to the school together and come over here on Saturday and Sunday. Deputies say the woman called 911 twice and hung up both times, so Torres wouldn't notice. Credit to our dispatchers for recognizing the importance of that. Neighbors like Maldonado say their once calm neighborhood is now the complete opposite. It was quiet, but no more because I see the police almost every week. This is not Torres' first run-in with the law. He now has several new charges, including false imprisonment. Live in Hillsborough County, Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.